Hey guys, what's going on? So in today's video, we are talking about how to win Derby. Uh, if we go here, Derby will be starting in seven minutes, so I can explain better in detail. First of all, I just want to show here, we actually did win the last one. We were in Professional League, I believe. We're going up to the next, which is Expert League, which is right before Champion League. And I wanted to make this video now because Champion League has a different set of rules and it's a little bit different. So here we have our farm at 4480 points. We went into this derby with two members and we had seven tasks to do. As you can see, number two has 4476, number three has 4404. Now, this was very, very close, obviously, because number two is only four points behind us. The reason they couldn't get those last points is because myself and my other neighborhood member only did perfect tasks with 320 points. And this is the main thing to winning derby. We did not buy the extra tasks for 10 diamonds because, you know, we don't really feel that's worth it. Because if we're in a derby with someone who really really wants to win not only will they do the perfect tasks but also pay those 20 diamonds 10 for each member to get the extra two tasks and well they can have it then you know whatever but 10 diamonds each in my opinion it's not really worth it we have to do some fish here this next derby will be much harder because another thing you need to know is that if you go up here into your uh, settings cog there will be a news tab summer derby here for example saying the next derby will be a special derby the one before was not special it had a max cap of 320 points this one on the other hand will have a max cap of 400 points the more points the harder the task not only that but now we have a another task we have to do so eight tasks each and if we want to try and do all perfect tasks so 400 it's gonna be insanely hard, especially considering it's gonna be fishing, vanilla ice cream, strawberries, and juices, which all take quite a long time. I'll be back when the derby officially starts so we can take a closer look at what's going on there. And here we go. So we can see immediately that the derby has started and we're gonna take a look at the board here. So we already off the bat, we have two 400 tasks. Um, so here, actually this is funny because a couple of days ago we had the same task, it wasn't worth 400, it was worth like 368 I believe that was the maximum in one of the last derbies and this one's worth 400 but it looks to be almost exactly the same. I should have waited to fish until this was done, that was a mistake, but it doesn't matter, it's too late now. So considering these tasks don't look to be much harder than the derby before last tasks, probably we are gonna try and go for the 400. So basically, if you're gonna do this method, all you gotta do is delete all non 400s. This is much easier, of course, when you only have two guild members and my other guild member happens to live with me, so coordination is extremely easy to do. So if you're gonna have random neighborhood members and such, you wanna try and coordinate with them, say, don't take tasks, don't take non-maxed tasks if you really want your highest chance to win. Um, of course, it's gonna be hard this time. We have uh, eight tasks now, and these are all gonna take quite a while. Even these, which are probably one of the easier ones, is still gonna take a minimum of 14 hours unless you start preparing beforehand. Like if I'm gonna do this task and then this task directly after, I should already have at least four or five apple juices ready to pick up. Because that's another tip. When you know what task you're going to do next and you're already working on a different one, I could say produce four feta pies, five carrot cakes, and, and a few apple juices or something so that when I do accept the task I can go over there and pick the stuff up and that will still count the fishing event is still up for another like uh, three hours but I just used my special lures that I can catch the good fish with or the event fish so I'm kind of screwed in that department but uh, if we have any apple juices or carrot cakes or feta pies to pick up which I doubt we do because I wasn't really expecting that we have two apple juices so it's probably the first task we're going to accept and then by the time I'm getting close to finishing this one we'll probably have a couple more 400s up here that I can decide to go for so this definitely is the nerd way to play derby we are kind of derby nerds and we do want to win just not at the cost of diamonds because we're not that desperate, I guess. So we're gonna go ahead and start this one, I guess. It's probably not for the best. So yeah, every 30 minutes, new tasks will come and you can delete them. Again, this may not be the best for Champion League because I think you get points deducted for removing them, but we'll get into that in a later video, perhaps. Ah, here you can see we're in Expert League, that's what it was. Professional League, I guess, was down there, yeah. Of course, only having two members also comes with a downside because even if you're perfect, um, I'm gonna go ahead and accept this so we can look at the other tabs because even if you're perfect There's no way we can get 7900 points to get all the rewards we possibly could but with one more member we actually could so if you're really hardcore about derby three members is probably basically perfect another thing to keep in mind is that if you and another neighborhood are doing only perfect tasks i 
think it'll come down to who was faster because I noticed in the early stages of the last derby, there were other people starting off with perfect tasks also. And when we caught up to them and had the same amount of points, we were still in place two and they were still in place one. So I'm not totally sure because it's never actually ended on a tie for me, but probably it's whoever is there first that will actually win. So to demonstrate what I was talking about, this task, for example, requires me uh, to pick up seven apple juices as one of its tasks. We have two prepared over here, and as you can see, we're at 9.5% completed now because of those two apple juices. Potentially, I could have had as many spots as my juice maker has, so four spots. So I could have had four apple juices if I knew that task was coming, so I could have had them ready. Technically, you could have all seven if you force your barn to be full by picking up any random things or going into the shop and buying some bacon and eggs or whatever. To demonstrate that, I guess I'll force my barn to be full since I am pretty close anyway. And we can just like get some milk, you know, whatever. And that should do it. Okay, so now our barn's full and let's say for our next task we needed those 14 blue hats and we didn't want to pick this one up yet because obviously the task isn't finished you can just click on your wool thing and add more nothing gets picked up as you can see there of course you do have to be careful because if you are using something out of your barn then say for example we put the hat here we still don't pick it up but we do have a space now so if you try to put something else in the thing will get picked up so every time you put in a hat you need to go back to your barn make sure you're still full and then you know go ahead and do that again so that's that kind of method so obviously i need to also start making carrot cakes and feta pies um that might be a problem because this is full and that's well that's done soon thankfully but we don't have any damn goat cheese so the three main things are preparation coordination and choosing max tasks if you really want to win of course other derbies in the neighborhood can do this also and then you know it basically comes down to who's fastest or who's willing to spend those 10 to 20 diamonds depending on how many members are in your guild but yeah that's pretty much it um if you have any questions if i left anything out or if you're confused about something else make sure to drop that down in the comments below and i'll do my best to answer. If you found this video helpful, a like would be greatly appreciated. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.